Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Another bump date, but it's very delayed. The last one you guys saw was 25 weeks, so it's been technically a month since I've filmed one of these. Um, and I just want to apologize, and I'm changing things up a little bit. So what I was doing up until this point was I was filming the week before, after the week had already passed. And as I'm getting further in my pregnancy, that's just getting harder for me. One, because the baby brain is way more severe, and I just can't necessarily pick out all the little details from the week before. Um, two, because technically, like right now, for example, I'm 29 weeks, but I'm in my, like I'm finished 29 weeks. Once you've turned a week, you're like done that week and into the next week, technically. Um, so it was just, I thought it would work out better earlier. Um, and it was working until it stopped working and now we're changing it. So I'm just going to tell you guys, like I'm going to film these as the weeks I am. So... I will try and film these on the weekend when I am the week I, it says in the title. <laughs> Does that make sense? So before I was filming a week before, or I, before I was like behind a week, and now I will just be caught up. So with that being said, how far along am I? I'm 29 weeks pregnant. When you are seeing this, I am still 29 weeks pregnant. So that is how we're going to do it now. Um, yeah, I'm officially in my third trimester now, which is so crazy. Third trimester um, was last week. We entered that, and I just feel like it's flying by. Excuse my like wet hair, by the way. I am I have that kind of hair type that just stays wet forever. Um, I showered this morning, and it is now like 4:25, and my hair is still wet because I had it lightly braided. Anyway, um, my kids had a bit of a cold last week, and so I just got too busy and forgot to film this video. Somehow the pregnant lady managed to avoid getting sick, which is so awesome. I'm so grateful. Um, but yeah, 29 weeks in the third trimester now, and I just can't believe how fast it's going. I knew, I've been saying this the whole time, the minute September hits, it's going to really pick up, and it definitely did. And now we're in October, and technically, like, I can say now, next month I'm home birth safe, and that's so crazy because I'll be 37 weeks at the end of November, in the last week of November. And technically, after that point, if he decided to come early, um, we would still be cleared to have home birth, which is so crazy to me that like next month, that really puts it into perspective. You can be like, oh, you know, eight to 12 weeks, blah, 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 blah. But when you say like, oh yeah, next month, I'll be home birth safe. It's like, whoa, hold on. Um, <laughs> So I'm really like trying to wrap my head around that. Um, I just feel like I don't have time to think about like, oh, pregnancy takes so long. And like with Grace and I remember in the last trimester I got, I really struggled because I was so impatient to meet him and I was so uncomfortable and just like done being pregnant. But because I have two other older kids keeping me so busy, because we have activities and like, um, I have so much more responsibility now and it's just all like my week is so planned out because I homeschool my kids and I'm trying to get everything organized for the homeschool group that I run um, for our upcoming field trips and to be to try and have everything kind of um, ready and sorted out with the other mom that came on to help me so that I can take like a mat leave from that. And like I'm really having to tie up those loose ends now and it's starting to be crunch time and then Christmas prep needs to happen and whoa, it is just getting busy. And so I don't really have time to think about the fact that like, oh, you know, I'm 29 weeks and however many days today. And by the time I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I turned 29 weeks. It's like, cool. All of a sudden it's halfway through. Oh, I'm 29 and a half weeks. And then all of a sudden it's the next the next week rollover and it's like, oh, 30 weeks. <laughs> and it just happens so quickly now. So I imagine that's going to just get faster and faster now because this weekend um, is Thanksgiving. We're Canadian. No panic, American friends. Um, and it's my husband and my daughter's shared birthday this weekend, same weekend as Thanksgiving every year. And then it's like Halloween next and all of, we have a field trip and all sorts of activities, Halloween parties, oh, so much going on. My daughter's birthday party. So it's just, I love it because it's making this so precious um but it's also like i don't feel like it's ticking by and taking forever um i feel like he'll be here before we know it okay must have items it's been a little while so my must have items still again just like my water although i've switched 
to drinking my like three cups of red raspberry and nettle leaf tea now i've talked about this on instagram if you want to follow me over there um i have some highlights where i chat about things like that um if you want to find out like benefits and blah blah blah, blah i have a, a highlight that you can check out and learn a little bit about that um but with the colder weather and then the increased amount of teas and stuff i don't have to drink as much water so that's been nice just to be able to cart around cups of herbal tea and get um hydration in that way so that there's more minerals in and it's not just plain water or anything um so it's still like a must-have my pregnancy ball has been just a lifesaver with my um pelvic girdle pain so that is so essential i know if i sit in a hard chair for too long i'm I've done myself wrong and I can really feel it. Um, and something else I guess would be a must have would be my baths. I have almost nightly nice hot baths. Like again, some every time I say that, some people are like, I didn't know you could have baths while you're pregnant. Of course you can have a bath while you're pregnant. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> no, but do some research, talk to your healthcare provider. There's nothing wrong with baths. I've had baths through all of my pregnancies and I have hot baths. Um, I just don't make it like, it's so hard to make a hot, a, just as a disclaimer, it is so hard to make a bathtub hot enough to do damage to anything. Um, just make sure your skin is not turning red and you're not lobstering yourself. But even without turning your skin red, you can have like a nice hot bath. And it, the temperature cools so quickly and so rapidly in a bathtub that uh, you really, really don't have to worry about it unless you're actually trying to scald yourself like a freaking lobster. Um, so my baths though help me so much. I have almost nightly baths now because they ease my pelvic girdle pain so much. Um, they help relax those muscles. They let my belly float. Um, it takes a lot of weight off of the front of my pubic bone, which is where I'm having my pain. Um, and just like helping keep everything loose and keeping my muscles really relaxed. So between that and yoga, it's really 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 manageable right now and but I noticed if I haven't had if I go too many days without a bath um I definitely feel the difference in my body and my round ligament pain and things like that I guess another must-have item would just be snacks <laughs> nothing in particular just like always have snacks always have snacks snacks are the best and hot cocoa on hand I've been such a hot cocoa fiend <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of must-have items. I'm still not interested in using a pregnancy pillow. Actually, now that my belly is bigger, I'm finding it more comfortable to sleep than I was a few weeks ago because um, my belly can just rest on the bed more comfortably now. Like, it's big enough that it can just, like, bleh, be on the bed, and I don't really have to prop anything under it too much. Um, yeah, and the, just the pillows, instead of one giant body pillow or pregnancy pillow, it helps me flip sides and just move around a little bit more at night so that if my hips go numb or something like that, I can just toss around a little bit easier without disturbing too much of my sleep. Now, segueing into sleep, sleep has been pretty good. Um, although, I will say, <clears throat> my sleep is being disturbed by heartburn. <laughs> my heartburn is here and it is... It's, it's here to stay, I know it. I've always had really bad heartburn in my third trimester. Like I just get like lava throat no matter what. And the only thing that I find that works is I do full fat Greek yogurt with honey and a little bit of cinnamon in it. And I mix it up in just like a little dish. So I probably only have like, you know, half cup or less. And I'll just take that to bed and I will eat it and just like really let it coat my throat. Um, and then I'll go straight to sleep. I don't, like, I brush my teeth and then I have my yogurt. Um, and I let that just sit. And I sit up for a few minutes while that kind of goes down. And then I'll go to sleep. And usually that prevents me from having heartburn, which has been really, really handy. Because um, it doesn't really matter what I eat at this point. My babies are big, right? I have really long babies. We're very tall people. Um, so th there's just no, there's no space left between like my stomach and my esophagus anymore. And it just happens. Um, so that has been disturbing my sleep a little bit, but I find as long as I remember to go have my yogurt at night, um, then I'm good for the most part, like, or it's manageable and I can sleep. But the other day I forgot and I literally woke up coughing because 
my stomach flap had <laughs> gotten lazy and it just like came up my throat and like I was choking. I woke up choking. It was awful. I've never had that happen before. So besides like some sleep disturbances like that um, and a little bit of insomnia here and there, um, not very often, but sometimes I'll wake up at like four or five in the morning. That's always been my thing. This pregnancy has been like waking up at four or five. So I'm sure we're going to have a feed at that time in the morning. Um, and then he'll probably go back to sleep for the rest of the morning. I'm, I'm assuming. Let's see if I'm, let's see if this is right. I'm really sorry if you can hear the neighbor's dog barking, you guys. It's been such a problem. <laughs> that dog barking. I haven't filmed all week because every time I sit down, that dog is just barking all day and I can't film anything because you can just pick it up on the camera. It's really frustrating. Uh, anyway, so apologies if you hear that in the background. I've tried to do everything I can to kind of dull the noise. Um, but yeah, so like sleep has not been terrible. Uh, there's just been a couple of things that have been like a little, little disturbances. Um, yeah, but the other morning, like it's, it's very mild insomnia and it's only once in a while where sometimes I'll wake up at four and I'll be hungry and I'll need to go have a snack and that will like kind of wake me up and I'll be, I won't be tired again to go to sleep yet. Um, yeah, so, but it's pretty minor. I'm, I'm pretty lucky in the sleep department. Aches and pains. I kind of already talked about this, the heartburn and the SPD pain, um, SPD pelvic girdle pain, but that has been really, really good. Like basically for my pelvic pain, I'll just have flare ups. Like if I'm, if I've walked too much that week or, um, I've been sitting in hard chairs, like downstairs schooling the kids and I didn't bring my ball downstairs for a couple of days or cause I keep my, my, um, yoga ball upstairs and I use it as an office chair to sit at my desk so if I don't lug it down the stairs um I can get really uncomfortable that way and then I'll have day like a couple days where it's just really tough um to get in and out of vehicles and you know just like do roll over in bed but in the last week I've been waking up and being like oh something else was keeping me up that wasn't like my pelvic girdle pain like when I roll over I haven't been in Pain. It hasn't been like an active thing where I have to wake up and engage my core and like roll over very carefully. So um, it comes and goes, but like it could be so much worse. So I'm still so, so grateful. Uh, but he's definitely, I'm, I'm really interested to see my upcoming midwife appointment where his head is at because I really feel like I've got a bowling ball on between my legs now. Um, my babies tend to kind of get down there and engage really early. So I'm wondering if he has already done that because there's just this pressure that I start to get. Um, and I honestly, if I'm being sorry, if this is TMI, but just in case anybody is having their first pregnancy and they're like, is this normal? This has happened to me every pregnancy. Um, but like once my baby's head engages in my pelvis, I am quite swollen like everywhere down there. <laughs> and it just stays like that for my whole remainder of my pregnancy which is a little bit annoying um but again it could be worse it doesn't bother me necessarily it's just like everything's really swollen <laughs> but speaking of swelling i have had no severe swelling in my limbs or i don't think i ever have um ankles aren't swelling feet aren't swelling my fingers are swelling a tiny bit i switched my wedding ring so this is like a this is one i actually had bought as a backup wedding ring it was like a spare when I'm when I was in between wedding rings, but it came and it was way too big. It was the wrong size. And this morning, it's been really hot here, like unseasonably hot. I think we had the hottest summer in 73 years or something like that. And so normally, like we had freezing temperatures. It was nice and cold. Today is 23 degrees Celsius again, which is just crazy for October for us. Um, so I'm noticing now that I'm in the third trimester when it's hot outside, my fingers will swell up a little bit when I get too hot. And so this morning I just didn't like how tight my rings were and I don't wanna take any risks in damaging them or um, getting them stuck on my finger. So I went and pulled out this bad boy and I was like, I wonder if this will fit my, when my fingers are swollen. And sure enough, it's like really loose, um, but it like fits on there well enough with lots of room. So I hopefully will probably be able to just wear this through the rest of my pregnancy now and still be able to have a ring on my finger because I just like, it feel, I feel naked without my ring, you know? And I have like pretty big wedding rings now. So it's, even this is weird. <laughs> Cravings, again, I'm not really a craving girl. I get, hmm, that would be good. Uh, but it's nothing that I really desperately need. It's something I can wait for usually. Um, I've, there's things I've really been enjoying. 
Um, like I've been really enjoying um, Bailey's Irish Creamer. There's no Bailey's in it. Um, in my coffee, <laughs> I don't know what the Irish cream just reminds me. I don't know, it's just delicious, I find it. I'm so excited for eggnog. I like to put eggnog in my coffee as a creamer. I'm a Christmas person. Like I said, this whole pregnancy, I've been craving Christmas foods, craving, I've just been thinking a lot about Christmas foods. Um, I think that's probably more to do with the fact that I'm having a baby at Christmas time and it makes me look forward to that season even more than I already do because I'm a Christmas crazy lady, you guys know if you're here. So like I finally got my hands on a giant box of chocolates, thank you Costco. I've been really, really wanting a box of Christmas chocolates, like an assorted variety, fill it with all the weird stuff, you know, and I found, I found a giant one of um, chocolates at Costco and I definitely bought that and have been eating it for weeks and it's been perfect. I'm so happy the Christmas foods are coming in stock. Um, like I said, this weekend is Thanksgiving, so I'm really, really looking forward to a Thanksgiving dinner. I've been thinking about this for ages. We pretty much have Thanksgiving dinner twice. Like, it's the same dinner, basically, that we do on Thanksgiving and at Christmas. Um, so my in-laws are hosting Thanksgiving this year, um, just because I can't, I can't handle anything, any hosting. We're not doing that this year. Um, so they're doing Thanksgiving and like pumpkin pies are out and all the delicious food and I'm so happy about it. And then I think this month as well, I'm gonna make a, Cody and I are gonna make a big um, Thanksgiving dinner just for our family so I can freeze some and just have leftovers because that's my favorite part of Thanksgiving dinner is the leftovers. Um, so I'm really excited and looking forward to that because we're not gonna be able to cook a big meal at all at Christmas. We'll just like, we'll have a brand new baby. It's just not gonna happen. Um, so I'm hoping that like, can throw some leftovers in the deep freeze and have some turkey sandwich bits waiting for me from Thanksgiving for Christmas. <laughs> baby movement. So his movement has changed a lot over the past few weeks since I've updated you guys last. Um, I feel him every day now. It's predictable. I can do my kick counts. I do, I don't, I do kick counts, but I don't do kick counts. I don't actually sit there and count him, um, but I know his patterns and I like expect them. And so I just like wait around for them. I make sure I've felt him. I've make sure I'm feeling him regularly and things like that. And I've always done that. I've never been a big like uh, OCD kick counter or anything like that. I, I just know his rhythm. Um, I've always just like connected to my baby's rhythm and just make sure I feel that rhythm all the time. Um, so that works for me and that's that's what I do. But his movements have become a lot more big, a lot bigger, a lot more bigger. They've become a lot bigger and now it's like elbows and knees and a butt sticks out and my belly goes lopsided. And it's like those really huge movements or it's a kick to the ribs and it's like whoof and it actually like kind of takes you by surprise. And that's definitely the movements we're feeling now. So that's really exciting because I think these are kind of my favorite kinds of movements. I'm feeling hiccups. I've been feeling hiccups for a couple weeks. Uh, yesterday at dinner, he was having hiccups and Grayson was able to feel his hiccups, which is really, really cool. Um, also where his hiccups are makes me pretty confident that he is head down in the right spot. But um, we will confirm because at my last appointment two weeks ago, uh, I did have a midwife appointment and everything went great and she brought along her student midwife and the student student midwife is the one that was checking where he was and his position um and she couldn't quite tell like if he was hit what if she was feeling a butt or a head and it's really really hard for anybody to feel my baby's heads because again i think i just have like a deep pelvis is that weird to say but my babies engage really deeply really early on and they kind of just stay there. Like even at my 20 week ultrasound, I had to have an internal ultrasound to measure my cervix because his head was so low and he was so deep in my pelvis that they couldn't see my cervix. Um, so that's just what I've learned is normal for me, but I'm excited for my midwife to kind of check out and see where his head is and where his position is and just make sure he's in the right spot. Um, yeah, my midwife appointment went really well. We checked, um, my blood pressure is doing really well. I've always had lower end of normal blood pressure. It's never been low, low, but it's always been like on the very low end of normal, always. Um, so just monitoring that and making sure I'm eating enough, making sure I'm getting enough calories and enough protein to keep my blood pressure steady. Um, so I have like 
but I, at the same time I'd rather have that than high blood pressure uh, so that's been really good um, we talked more about home birth stuff to the point where you guys my foot went off. my midwife is bringing my birth pool at my next visit in two weeks a week and a half that's crazy like that's how close we are like the birth pool is arriving and I'm gonna go out and buy all the home birth supplies and I will share a video with you guys about um, between my midwife and I what we've deemed essential for um, home birth like I have my own list and then I'm gonna get a list from her she's pretty minimalistic as am I but I'm also really a prepared kind of person so I'll share with you kind of like a not too excessive because so many I think feel like you can it's so easy to get so much stuff for your home birth that you're never gonna touch um, so just like the essentials of what we'll really need and making sure we have all that the birth pools coming in a week and a half that is so nuts to me um, yeah we're just like prepping for home birth and talking about like what kind of things I want um, backup plans for if we don't have time to fill out the birth pool and things like that because I um, have a history of fast labors. So we shall see. I think I'm gonna do a video coming up in Vlogmas baby mess. <laughs> that's because that's really what we're doing. It's like a mix of Vlogmas and baby mess um, where I'll talk to you guys about kind of my birth plan and um, where I plan to give birth in our house and what my backup plan is if we don't have time to fill the birth pool or if labor goes too fast um like all those things of the plan of like what if the midwife doesn't make it blah 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 blah, blah. and i feel like that could be its own video and i'll share with you guys um what our plans are for that so yeah um with that being said too my midwife appointments have also increased now i'm in my third trimester so i'm seeing her every like we're increasing them every like two to three weeks i'm Normally, people will increase them with their health providers uh, about every other week. <laughs> my midwife has always been very gracious with the fact that I am a very busy person. Like, our schedule is quite full. Um, so we've always, she won't let me go more than three weeks, but she's like, if we want it, if we need to push it to three weeks or two or three weeks, then, um, then that's okay. And so I'm really grateful for that. But I'm always checking in with her. And if anything were ever to feel different or anything, I love that she trusts me that I will contact her and I trust her that she'll come check me out right away. Um, so it's a really good, healthy relationship there. And uh, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier on everybody. And But I'm very excited to start seeing her more frequently now. He's moving so much right now. Every afternoon when I sit down, he's just like blah, blah. And you can see my belly just be like blah, 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 blah. Um, best moment of the week? I don't know. Maybe Grayson um, feeling those hiccups. That was really special in his little face <laughs> to be like, oh my gosh, hiccups. That was really cute. Um, something funny. This is not a best moment, but something funny that happened to me a couple weeks ago. I think it was 27 weeks when this happened. I was choking on my smoothie and I straight up peed my pants because he's so low that he just sits on my bladder. And so I constantly have to keep my bladder like emptied. I can't have a really full bladder because I will like one kick to the bladder and I'm done or head, bot, right, head bump, I guess it is. I was choking on my smoothie and the force of the coughs from choking really peed my pants. And it was the funniest thing. It wasn't a lot, but it was like, definitely I peed my pants. But I just called or I texted Cody and I was like, I just peed myself because I was choking. Mm, the joys of pregnancy, um, which is a funny thing I keep, Cody and I keep joking about, we're like, oh, the beauty of the third trimester, oh, the joys of pregnancy. <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you. I hope you guys are going to enjoy just me switching it to being like present day. So if you're like, whoa, how did you jump from 25 weeks to 29 weeks? I miss them. And then I'm just keeping you guys actually up to date from now on because we're in the third trimester now, baby. Anything could happen. Um, not anything. You're staying in there until December, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, let's show you the bump. Okay. Can you see? Here is the bump at 29 weeks pregnant. Pretty big. Um, I'm measuring right on track, surprisingly, not larger yet. So that was surprising. But no belly button popping yet. It's close. Like the top has popped. I don't know if you can see him moving. 
he's being crazy right now. But big old belly. Here's the front. I don't get that line up my belly until like way later, maybe like 35 plus weeks. So nothing there yet. These are all stretch marks from my previous pregnancies that are just stretching out. So I, I probably won't get any more, but we'll see. I don't really care at all. <laughs> um, yeah. Big old belly. Just gonna get huger. <laughs> That's a word. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that update and we will see you in my next one. Welcome to Vlogtober. You'll be seeing my face a lot more. I promise I'm gonna really put in the effort to give you as many videos as I can before this baby comes out of me. <laughs> okay, you guys, see you in my next one. Bye.